my pants are undone. Turn around, touch the ground. Don't mind me whilst I just stretch my knickers. Ripple it down my boobies. Jungle, jungle, jungle. Oh, it's chilly round my willy. The time has come for another boohoo haul. Happy Super Haul Sunday. Boohoo style. Hello from that very annoying intro, but it's Sunday and that means it's time for more clothes. I think we're come to the point now where I don't have to excuse the shopping habit because it's just something we all enjoy and you know, it's fine. We just go with it. My favourite freight. <laughs> Starting off well. Okay, so I'm back partnering up with Boohoo for this video and that does mean that my code is still working. Whoop de bloomin' do. So use the code MISHA20 to save 20% off site-wide on Boohoo apart from sales and you can even get this little outfit that I'm wearing that you may have seen in my last Boohoo haul. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, okay. So this Boohoo haul does have a theme. Now, I feel like we need to do a running tally of how many times I say Boohoo, because it's gonna be a lot. But can we also just appreciate the bougie of this bag? I've seen one of the taxis driving around London with this pattern on it for Boohoo. And I mean, I quite like it as a bag as well. It's very Versace inspired. Anyway. So yes, the theme behind this haul was Ibiza. So as I've gone on about a million times, me and my Scottish best friend Chloe are off to Ibiza, Ibiza. Off raving, not really, we're not the raving type. But yes, we are there in September, right at the beginning. We're gonna be going to Ocean, to Nikki Beach. Misha's gonna let her hair down a little bit. I know it's down right now, but I don't normally go a little bit wild. Not that I'm gonna be going wild, we all know that. But anyway, yes, so I thought it was time to pick up some Ibiza wardrobe pieces. Not that I don't have too many clothes already, but any excuse to work with Boohoo, bring you guys some goodies and get some Ibiza outfit, I'm down for it. So, I can remember the swimwear, but I can't remember anything else. So, let's go with it. And, um, destroy this bag. Oh, okay. Now, in my mind, my like swimwear vibe was that I want to go for something a little bit different. I just dropped it. Because last year when I went to Ocean, I was gonna wear this one bikini and I was so grateful that I didn't because I literally saw about five people in it. So I thought I'd go for something a wee bit more unique and out of my comfort zone because look, guys, we're going fishing. We have fishing string. What's going on? <laughs> oh, should I go and catch a fish at ocean? <laughs> Bantar. But I'm actually planning on wearing this at Nikki Beach if it looks nice, which hopefully it does. Okay, I, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I can see why I'm not a fisherman. So, you're probably thinking, Misha, how is this a bikini? You are literally pulling out a see-through mesh bit of fabric. Well, that is exactly what it is. And I'm going to flash my boobies to the whole of Ibiza. Joking. This is actually the overtop. So these are everywhere. These really cool fishnet tops. Never thought I'd see myself in one, but we're gonna all try it out. And then this is the bikini for underneath. It's in this beautiful electric, as you can see on the camera, green, very avocado style. And yeah, it's just a really nice, simple bikini that you could wear by itself, but it's like a three piece. So you wear it with a little bit of black. It looks funky. We stick a fanny pack on. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and I don't know the rest of the saying. Well, the other day when we were getting off the plane, mum goes, oh, it's chilly round my willy. And I was like, is that a saying? Because I've never heard that before. She was like, no, I made it up. I was like, okay then, you do you, boo. Let's try this bad boy on. These bottoms do look a wee bit small, and Misha has been eating a lot of food this summer. So let's break the threads. Am I the only person that does that? Like, you have to stretch an item like this just because the threads are so tight that then, like, it cuts you. And no one wants to be cut. So don't mind me whilst I just stretch my knickers. 
here is the blank bikini. I say blank because we have not got un fishnets on yet. Very nice, nice shape. I like this sort of shape. It is quite small across the chest, like it fits me really nicely. But I think I got this in a six and I definitely don't have the boobs in a six. So I would maybe size up. I'd always think that you should size up in swimwear because the fabric of swimwear does come up quite small. But let's get the interesting part on. I feel like I look like a member of Bon Jovi. Is that the right singer? I'm not sure. Oh, oh, okay. My acrylics right now are just completely like stuck in this fishnet. Okay, can we do it? Okay, if this looks cool, I'm gonna be so pleased. Do I look cool or do I look like I got a bit confused and put my tights on my body? I don't know. What do we think? I feel like it is quite funky. Excuse my pale stomach and then my brownish legs. Do we like it? Do we think it's cool? I think I need to pull it down a little bit. It is quite funky. Only concern is, imagine if I fake tanned in, not fake tanned, tanned in the sunlight in this light, in this light? In this pattern. Imagine, it looks like I have fish scales for skin. But I actually really, really like this. This does rise up a little bit because obviously it is that stretchy fabric, but that's not necessarily like awful. Like say I'm gonna be raving, I can just pull it down. Easy peasy beautiful. I'm definitely not a raver, so don't be expecting Instagram stories of me going wild because that won't happen. But anyway, yes, here's the bum. I actually really, really like this. I like this more like gothic style for Misha, slash she's got her hair like she thinks she's Ariana Grande, so not that gothic. But no, this is a bit of me or a different bit of me that we've never seen before i also think this would look quite cool with trainers but i feel like you don't wear trainers to a pool party okay let's move on to the next slide just noticing and my eyeshadow actually matches this bikini okay let's go for a completely different vibe and let's pull out this bad boy now i need some clothes for when we're not at pool parties because as i said we're not really the wild type so we will do normal holidaying in Ibiza as well with lovely dinners. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. So this is a little play suit. Now I'm not quite sure how this ties up, but I suppose I'll put it on and we can find out. Okay. I think I'm doing this correctly. I think. Okay, this is quite difficult actually. I feel like if you're gonna wear this, maybe get a friend. If you don't have any friends, then get family. <laughs> okay, so, okay, okay. What size is this? I think this is an eight, but it seems to come up quite small. Okay, I think I've done this arm bit a bit too tight. My arm feels like it's being strangled. I'm not very good at this. I don't like apparatus that you have to build yourself when clothing. I need it to be simple. Okay, wait, let's do up the zip. Yeah, this is a size eight and it's tight across my chest. Okay, size up a size or two people, especially if you have bosoms because I don't know where they would fit. I do think though, although I have no boobs, I have a broad chest. So I think that's kind of why, I don't know. Who knows, okay. Not the best bow I've ever done, but how sweet is this? It's literally like a spotty rose print play suit. Very asymmetrical. We've got a little cutout. It's really light and cute. And I just think this will look so adorable on, maybe I'll have to book another holiday to wear it as well because I've got a lot of clothes to wear for Ibiza and we are there for literally five days. So, wish me luck, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But no, this is so lovely. Oh, it's so cutesy. And again, it's very like, for Love and Lemons, Dolce & Gabbana vibes. I think floral print, considering I used to hate wearing prints, is definitely my favorite type of print. I love a good floral, yes. Is this floral? I like florals and food print, because food makes everything better. Speaking of print, Let's move on to another print. Now, this is very much out there 
for me, as well as most people. If it's out there for me, then it's probably out there for like 99% of the population. Because if you haven't watched one of my videos before, I'm a wee bit extra. Apologies if you don't like extra. You're in the wrong place. Anyway, okay, let's do this. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay. Ooh, oh my gosh, you know that fabric that is so soft and it's like a cotton. Oh, I didn't expect this to be a cotton, but I'm pleased that it is. So we are third item in and no shocker here, it is an coward. And do you call palm tree plint, plint, print, floral print? I know palm tree is a tree, but I still feel like it counts as floral. And look at those Gucci touches with the little multicolored ribbon situation stripes. So these are some cottony pants. These are so sassy. They're in this leafy print and then there's also this matching sort of like t-shirt, but not in like your normal t-shirt fabric. Now on the model, she had this loose, but I'm kind of picturing belting this. So let's try this on. I hope it fits. I've got it in a size eight. So I'm sure it will. We'll be good. Okay, let's try this bad boy on. Let's go. Ta-da! I'm a jungle, jungle, jungle. I'm in the trees. Oh, there's actually a bird on me. Hello. Okay, so here is the top and the trousers. Shall I go and shimmy and get Anya's stool so we can see the full pant length? I'll be back. Stool got. Okay, so. Let's show you guys these trousers. Can we see, oh, oh. can we see, they're a really nice length. They're really soft, they're not too tight. They're nice and baggy. And then here's it with the belt. So I like to call this my pre-dinner look. And then, let me just undo this, my post-dinner look. So once I've eaten, I can, at the back, undo my trousers a little bit so it's nice and loose for the food let down the top and no one would know that my pants are undone because people my pants are undone this is my little food hacks i feel like i definitely have different hacks that i should share with the world on how to deal with the food baby situation but no, I really, really like this. I think it's very unique. I think you could wear this top in the winter time or like the autumny time with different bottoms. And I just think it's very funky. It kind of looks like pajamas, but we know I do love a good pajamas as a normal clothing because it allows me to wear pajamas outside, which I do anyway, but it's not really acceptable. Now that I've got my classy Ibiza evening drinks in Old Town outfit, I feel like we need to go back to the tacky look, e.g. swimwear, and it's not actually tacky, but you know what I mean, like the more half-naked vibes. So this is a, another three-piece. I seem to have a thing for three-pieces. 2017 was the year of the two-piece. 2018 is the year of the three-piece. And this is a swimwear item. Very, very similar to the last one, but it's actually in leopard. So the bikini top is the exact same shape. That's not leopard, Misha. That is definitely snakeskin. Okay, so snakeskin bralette, snakeskin panties, <laughs> panties, and then snakeskin, not really, but I won't lie, because of the thin fabric, it literally does feel like I'm touching a dead snake. That gives me the heebie-jeebies. Um, and that's, again, one of those little crappy toppies. So I'm very excited by this one. This one is a really original, nice colour. Again, I'm stretching the bottoms. I don't know if you can hear the threads go. Oh, that one didn't do any. Let's try. Can you hear that? Am I the only person that does that? I swear I'm not. Anyway, it just loosens them up a little bit. Okay, let's try this bad boy on. I'm a snake, I'm a snake, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a snake. I'm not actually a snake, I promise. <laughs> I'm a nice person. But here we have this little snake skin number. It's literally the exact same, just in a different fabric slash pattern. Only thing is, this top is like, I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the fabric or like I need to, what about if I wore it one shoulder? Don't know, don't know, but it seems to come up really, really high. So maybe I've got it on backwards. 
who knows <laughs> hunt for it and it's another snake pin print print piece so this is a one piece in the exact same pattern as this two piece that i'm wearing but i want to take both options with me because i'm worried that like after a week of holidaying i'm not gonna feel like i want to be prancing around in a bikini um so this is the one piece version which is brilliant because it if you want to wear a one piece you can still get the same sassy effect now this has got a little inbuilt belt so let's Put this bad boy on, see what it looks like, and see what we think. Raw. Oh, what noise does a snake make? So I actually think I prefer the one piece, which is really cool. Here is the little belt thingy. It doesn't really serve any purpose, but it looks cute, so who really cares? It's reasonably high rise, but not too, too much, where you're literally like that, and you can't breathe. Fits nicely. This is an eight. And again, like obviously I know some is stretchy, but for some reason, this batch of orders seems to come up smaller than others. But I feel like that's just online shopping, like you never quite know, but thank goodness they have returns and exchanges. So if something doesn't fit quite perfectly, we can switch it on out. But no, I love this, I really like it. And it's got like this, I don't know if you can see that like rippled effect ripple that down my boobies okay oh and here's the bomb okay now this is one of misha's favorite outfits dun 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 an airport outfit so this literally screams misha like if you were to scream anything when you saw this it would be misha it is loose it is a jumper, it is pink, and it's Barbie. Stick an avocado on there and you've literally got like my dream world. So this is literally the perfect jumper dress for traveling in. It's gonna be warm, but it's not too thick that you like are dying of sweat. Okay, let's put this on. I wouldn't obviously normally wear it with a one piece underneath, just to put that out there. So. Here we go. So here's the length. You can obviously like wear it long, pull it up. Theoretically, you could put like a belt with it. It's just very cute with a pair of trainers at the airport. I just think this is fashionable, comfortable, sassy pink vibes, and I'm digging it. Digging it, digging it, digging it. Oh, I think this is so luscious. I'm wearing this to the airport for sure let me grab my trainers let's go now my wardrobe's complete actually no we still have a lot of stuff to get through so i better speed this bad boy your gal's getting hungry so let's get this show on the road i hope you guys have got snacks oh okay i pulled out two at once let's go for some more floral print i literally am such a witch about the whole floral print thing I said to Vicky, my nail lady at Beauty by V, that I'll find some sunflowers to take a photo of my nails with. And I'd completely forgotten that I ordered a sunflower wrap dress. I'm really getting into wrap dresses. I know people have always worn them and I've never really got it, but I wore one and I've now got it. They're so comfortable. And this is like a high low one. So let's turn me into a human sized sunflower to match my nails, which I love, by the way. Ha ha ha, okay. I don't really want to take this off, it's so comfy. And yes, I've still got the snake print one piece underneath. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so this is where I get a bit confused. Oh, okay, it wraps around the back. Not, oh, it could wrap around the front as well. Okay, let's snatch my waist at the front. Okay. I think I've done this incorrectly though, because I've got one really short string and one really long string. So let's just put it in a mini bow and hope for the best. Okay, now I'm picturing this in the Ibiza sunshine, just like going down to breakfast, going for lunch. I love this detail. Can we see this absolutely adorable sort of like high-low effect? I know this is difficult and Anya's come back and stolen her stool because she's just a meanie apparently. Okay, next up. Now, this is something that a lot of people are gonna hate. Like categorically hate, probably my own family included. So, oh my gosh, this is so OTT. 
but I kind of love it. I think it's a t-shirt dress. Originally I thought it was a t-shirt, but it looks a bit big for a t-shirt. So this is a size small to medium and it is a, yeah, t-shirt dress. And it has this face on it and it has these ribbons and it's literally the epitome of in your face. <laughs> in your face. Oh my gosh, me, she needs to get some new jokes. She even has ice creams on her eyes. I hope they're dairy free. And then this says Venice? Venice? No, it says nice. The strings say nice. So I'm either thinking on a more like casual going out tonight, I wear this, or if I was feeling a bit more extra and bougie in the morning for the airport, I could wear this, be it I have to be at the airport at like 7am, so don't know how bougie I'll be feeling, probably more tired. Guys, I love it, I think it's so cute, and mum loves it too, I went and showed it to her. So, it is quite boxy, and I was maybe considering taking it in a wee bit, just to give me the slightest bit more shape. And yes, I look like I'm about to fly away, like cluck, 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 cluck but I like, oh, I just hit into my shelves. I like it, the strings kind of like come down my leg. That sounds weird. <laughs> but it's very fancy, it's not see-through, and I just like original pieces that not everyone would wear because yeah, that's me. A bit different, a bit weird, and by a bit, I mean very. Okay, now, is this a black item? Misha, in a black item? What's going on? Okay. Oh, I do remember this and I just thought it was really pretty so I couldn't say no. So it's one of those little dresses and it was really hard for you guys to see because I feel like everything looks different on camera. Like I could stand there and say something looks awful and then on camera it will somehow look okay. But this is like a can we see that? That little detail of missingness. And then there's this lacy bit. I'm sure you'll be able to see it better when I put it on. But it's kind of like a slip dress. Like a black plain slip dress. But made a bit more interesting with the certain lacy details. Oh, okay. This might not go over my bum. So I am thinking that I might cut through that slit. Just to give it a little bit more chesticles but this is the really cute little dress. I know it's not very shapely, but it is just like a really easy throw on floaty piece for when I feel like a little black angel. That's definitely not a thing. Maybe more of a black devil, not like that. But I just think I need some little bit slightly more dressy pieces. You could wear it with heels, you could wear it with sandals. Say it's the end of the holiday and I'm a bit bloated. I've got options then guys, I've got options. I seem to have really ventured out of my comfort zone with these patterns, people. I've got something in leopard. Leopard, oh I remember this. Oh okay, so this is like a maxi dress and how Ibiza does this look, like wouchers. So it's this orangey maxi dress and it is mesh. So you would need to wear like a one piece or something underneath or you would majorly be able to see your bits. But I love me a good slip dress, especially in bright orange leopard. Maybe normal leopard was just a little bit too normal for me. So I had to get it in bright orange, but let's see this beauty on. Oh, also, it has these really nice like silver details, just making it look a little bit more expansive. <laughs> this is I just wrote. <laughs> We've got a newest member, newest recruit. No, we don't. Can you either come and join the hall or please go away? So I'm sporting. <laughs> Shoo. <laughs> so now I can officially make like the roaring sound because I'm in leopard. This is leopard, isn't it? I get confused between leopard and cheetah. No, wait, is this cheetah? I think this is cheetah print. Does it say on the label? Let's find out. I feel like it might be cheetah. I might be a cheetah, guys. It's leopard. Wait, did I read that right? 
it's leopard print okay i actually love this right now i don't have anything on with it <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone apart from everyone watching this video but i would just wear nipple covers and like nude pants and i think i could get well with i think i could get away with it so it is like a maxi length but i kind of like to like pull up this little leg slit and just like make it a little bit more like loose because again it can harbor the food baby food in ibiza is lit so yeah yeah i'm thinking just like a more like eveningly clubby vibe but then also bikini cover up multi options okay let's move onwards misha you're taking far too long i don't recall this item willow woven cami crop top apparently we've got a crop top coming okie dokie <gasps> i do remember this oh my gosh this feels like heaven this is literally just a white silky cami because i have a cream silky cami but not a white one and i just think these are so useful like literally so useful so let's pop it on let's see how it looks with leopard print apparently with the cami you can either have it tucked in and like a little bit hanging out you can have it open they look lush with just jeans in the winter you could wear it with a turtleneck you could even give it a little tie i just think these are so so useful and also it's like not at all see-through like i don't even have any covers on right now and you can't see it obviously you can see the green down here but like that is a very dark color so no i likey likey it's just one of those necessity pieces that i like to bring with me on holiday because you know when you're having one of those days where you're just like i don't know what to wear you just put on a silky cami and bob's your uncle oh petite wrap tea dress now i remember thinking this was so so cute and i thought it would look really nice for a more casual day slash night look and omg this fabric is what dreams are made of <gasps> i feel like i want bedding in this fabric what is this made of and it's in the color sand and it does look like literal sand this is made of viscose and elastine viscose you are silky soft oh we've got some little strings I can't get over how bad my fake tan is. Like, should I give you a little... Can we see that? You can only see it because of the shadow. That is bad. Look how sweet. Sleeves are a really nice length. If you were conscious of that part of your arm, then you don't need to show it. I love this colour. If I was a bit more tanned, it would probably make me look a little bit more alive. Not saying pale girls couldn't wear it. Like, you rock your pale skin. I just personally like myself with a tan on. But then in winter... I'm all about being pale. Don't know why. Who knows? Anyway, okay, yes. Very sweet, very nice. This is a petite, but it isn't like too short where I'm flashing anyone because that's always my concern when I get something in petite because it's normally made for girls of a shorter height. And I'm not short, but I'm not tall. I'm like in the middle. I'm five, five and a half. Maybe that's a bit generous. Maybe I'm 5'5". Five five. Who knows? Shh, I'm lying. Okay, people, we're reaching near the end. So you are nearly about to have your life back, but not quite yet. So I'm pretty sure this is like another little dress. And this is lemon print because we all know that I love the print. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, this is a t-shirt dress. Oh, it's a different fabric than one expected. It's more... What is that? Now I question the fabric i always want to know i'm so nosy yes i am a nosy person i'm that girl who or boy or no i'm definitely a girl i'm that person that comes into your house and i look through your drawers <laughs> i'm like oh can i just i just find it really fascinating i mean like makeup drawers not like your pots and pans so this is a polyester and elastine but oh i love me a good t-shirt dress especially when it's this cute again another airport outfit okay so i've got three airport outfits and hopefully i'm only going to the airport twice unless something goes wrong which hopefully it won't touch wood turn around touch the ground touch wood i'm the most 
scared person of jinxing anything. Okay, let's put the lemons on, because my lemons bring all the boys to the yard. Misha, we're sick of hearing you sing that song. Turn around, because I still want ya. One minute to say the word. I can't, I can't sing, sorry. And I can hear Anya's Spotify playing in the background. But here is my lemony dress, and I really, really like it. I've just popped it on with a belt for a more like eveningly slash daytime look. And then, ta-da! There we go, airport attire. Whack on your trainers, grab your suitcase, you're good to go. I just think the pattern is so, so sweet. And I felt, felt mum? I told mum to feel the dress and she was like, yeah, it doesn't feel like a t-shirt dress. It feels like an actual dress. Like what an actual dress would be made out of. But anyway, let's move on to the final clothing item. What do we think? How does it look? What do we think? What do we think? Let's try it on with the pants I had on originally, just to see how it looks with bottoms rather than just with my bum out. Yeah, okay. These trousers are a little bit special, so let's grab me a belt. And then this can be one of my outfits, which again, perfectly match my nail. Is this a look? Oh, I really like this bodysuit. I like something that's simple, but it adds a little bit of an element of surprise. So, final, last but not least. First up, we have a jazzy number. Now, we all know that Misha is a pageant girl at heart, and she wanted some jazzy jewelry. So I went for this Amy, don't know why it's called Amy, but hey Amy, um, Diamante Choker Plunge Necklace. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, okay. Ooh, this is so exciting. I don't think I've actually ever had any Boohoo jewellery. How weird is that? So, this. You pop. Let's try and get some good light. Pop around your neck. And then you either, like, obviously hanging it out or you pop it in and then it's kind of just like, yeah, that's funky. And apologies if I have a bit of a hairy armpit. <laughs> Whoopsies. I love this. And I like how the crystals are really big. So it's not like you can't see it. Like, it's there. We all know it. You could also multitask it and have a little, like, pendant in your face. Every time you move, it would hit you. But, you know worth it then i've really been into coin necklaces i know i'm so late on the trend but you know better late than never so i got oh, i can't i'm struggling to get to it these acrylics are just so long okay so it is a selection of three. First up we have this little rose i don't want to do that really youtube thing where you put your hand Will that work? Hello? This is difficult because it's such a dark day today. That's... Okay, that's a rose. You just have to believe me. Then we've got a heart that says love. And then we've got a little... What is that? A little coin of a face on it. So, that is easy peasy. Just... Ah, oh, I've got them all caught. How nice are those? I love me a good triple stack. Okay, my camera's flashing. Misha, final item, final thing. These earrings, very cute. I'm all into big earrings. It's because I know we need to rush, I can't do it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. How cute are these? They're little space no no moon and stars and i just thought they were very nice they're very light which is brill because i have a similar pair to these but they literally weigh like the same as me so i don't really want to walk around with full-sized adults on each ear so these are a very sweet and nice alternative okay so this has been my latest Boohoo haul, Ibiza style. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know your favorite piece down below. I love to share the Boohoo love. So don't forget my discount code, Misha20, and that's gonna be around for a little bit of time. So if you wanna wait until payday, then you do you, boo. I will link all of the items down below. Happy shopping, and yes, how exciting. I cannot wait to wear all these pieces. I just spat.
everywhere. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Misha underscore Grimes to see all these pieces styled up in Ibiza because they'll be there. So tune up it. I love you guys a lot and I will see you all next time. Oh, and also, I'm actually going to Ibiza after this video is up. So stay tuned. There'll be an Ibiza vlog. Bye. Love you. Mwah. Bye. Thanks, boohoo. I love you, girls. Mwah.